and yeah. today is October 22nd, Sunday, 2003, and I'm hanging out at my house. I've been hanging out at my house since Thursday. I had a really bad depressive episode. But I think it's getting better. I really don't know. I'm just trying to... Get through the days, I guess. I mean, I'm fine. It's just... Been hard. Sorry, I am watching a movie also. So, last weekend we went to Salem. It was very crowded. Um, our bus driver and our tour guide were super cool. Made the trip super fun. Um... When we got there, we did the gallows. We saw the gallows play. And then after we went to like the main square. Or everything was. Wanted happening, so that's it. So I made sure my mom got there fine. Because my mom and her friend went with us. It was me and my mom. And then her friend went with us, I should say. And then I meandered off by myself. And went to the Satanic Temple. Which is really cool. And it's kind of in the middle of just regular Salem. Which is really cool also it's like house on either side and then like gas station and stuff like that and I got to walk around and just see all the different stuff in the temple and it was fun it was definitely fun definitely worth the walk that I took from point A to B and point B back to point A and then like every single store had a wait and after waiting in line and you walk out empty handed it kind of pisses you off you know but I got my mom a sweatshirt or a hoodie whatever and then I got oh I got like a sticker and a patch from the satanic temple and then that's all I bought for myself and then no I bought a pair of earrings because they have like this little like vendor fair in the park with like food and you know different little vendors so I did find something at the very end of the day and I found a new journal and a bookstore is that where you're at? I was exhausted and I think that's like why I had a depressive episode because that always happens when I do something that I want to do and then I come back to Smalbany and you don't have people, you know.
and I don't. I don't have... You know, I have my mom and her friends who, you know, consider me their friend, but I want friends of my own. And I do. You know, I have a couple. It is what it is, you know. So this weekend, I made... Homemade Halloween cards, you know, just because I was feeling crafty, I guess, I don't know, and my friend Kathy came over for dinner last night, she is my mom's friend's daughter who passed away a few years ago. So she came over for dinner last night and ate downstairs with my mom and her, my mom's friend Patty came over and then she came upstairs and we watched a movie. It's very strange. It doesn't feel like Halloween or October. I don't know. I feel very disconnected from certain things and certain people and... Like, I did go fishing yesterday. I didn't catch anything. I didn't see my turtle either. <laughs> I can't even keep a turtle as a friend. Yay. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It was rainy here, so I didn't expect to get a whole lot. But... I don't know. Just everything feels very strange. And I don't know why. I don't understand a lot of things that are happening. And I prefer to remain blissfully ignorant about what is going on in the world. And I'm not going to get into what I believe, what I don't believe. I believe we should leave the situation alone and focus on the crap show that is this country, but that's about it. This is me during a depressive episode, where I would be perfectly happy going back to bed and doing absolutely nothing, but I can't. Like, I have to force myself to do things even if it physically hurts. My body physically hurts right now just sitting here. My legs, my arms, my brain. And it was my grandpa's anniversary the other day. My grandpa was the best grandpa anyone could ask for. And I miss him every single day. And I hope I'm not a disappointment to him with the, the decisions I have made in my life.
I just thought there would be more than this, you know, that I would make a difference in this world. And if I have, I don't know about it. <sighs> I'm just tired all the time. And I'm just sad. But. I don't know. why it's hitting me so hard this time. I think because there have been so many what have, could have been, should have been, would have been, But then I see people, like seriously, mentally fucked up people, you know what I mean? Like to the point where they have to be in a psychiatric facility and they have to go to court to be... told if they could be released or not, you know, and escorted or driven and transported by an armed security guard. And there are times where I see them and I wonder At what point did I go in the different direction that they went? Like, how did I end up with a job I've had for 18 years and being a functioning member of society, pretty much, and paying my bills, and, you know, taking care of three cats, and taking care of my mom when she needs it, and I mean, my upbringing was not the best. You know, I was not treated very well as a child, except by my grandma and grandpa. And when my father was around, he stole whatever he could get his hands on. And I look at people today and I remember when I first started I mean I'd probably been there a while and our hot water heater tank crapped out and even during the winter we didn't have heat or hot water and I would take showers at work You know, and I would keep space heaters on for the cats because they wanted us, like, eventually, like, we got help from the city. And it was during the, you know, Obama revitalization plan. And the deal was, it was like a 10-year grant program that you paid back. And, you know, they held the deed to the house so you couldn't sell it. And they did the windows and plumbing, which they, whatever. And, uh, it 
it was funny when we found out that usually people, you know, they did the roof, the windows, the front door, like everything. And, uh, they wanted us to go to this apartment complex, like down on South Pearl Street next to the uh, homeless shelter where if there's going to be an incident that's where it's going to happen is in that area and we said no you know I couldn't imagine living down there and it was funny when the guy told us we didn't have to pay back the grant because between me working full time, my mom working full time, we were below poverty level. And that was okay to them. He was able to say that with a straight face, which was sad. You know? And I mean, we're in a better position now, but I still go back to that time. And I think that's what terrifies me a lot, is that, that, you know, you never know what's going to happen. You never know how much you, and I mean, you never know how much you can survive. Just like when I was handling everything with my cousin. You never know how strong you have to be or how mentally okay you have to be until you deal with something and you have no choice. Because I didn't have a choice in either situation. But it's weird now because, like, I look at therapy and I look at my psychiatrist and, like, my medications and I feel selfish in a way because those are co-pays that could be used for something else and I know I shouldn't because it does keep me okay I don't know I this happens every once in a while I'll be fine it's just my yearly blah Well, that's it. I hope everyone is well. Leave me comments below. Tell me what you're up to. Tell me what you're doing. And I don't feel very awesome right now, but I want you guys to feel awesome. And to never let anyone take that away from you. Never let anyone make you feel less than... And never make anyone, let anyone make you feel that you're not good enough. Because you are. And if you're going through stuff, it's not going to get better right away. But it will get better. Because it has to, you know. But remember, you guys are awesome and amazing. And thank you for being here. And thank you for your comments and for being around and 
You are appreciated. Love you guys. Bye.